Well, uh, thanks once again for joining us back on the video blog. And uh, the next question that I've had through is about what my advice might be for buying cameras and lenses. Thanks very much for um, taking the time to write in. Um, my advice would be to um, buy uh, as you know, invest your money in lenses. Invest your money in lenses. That is the number one priority. And I would look to buy a very cheap body um, for the camera because the camera these days will have probably, yeah, I would think, a minimum of 10 megapixel. And you know, realistically, you're probably not going to need much more than that you know, starting out. Uh, invest in your lenses. And I, what I mean by that is to, is to get the best possible lenses you can afford. Um, you know, get something, you know, if you can afford L series lenses for Canon, you know, then I would get that. Um, or just, you know, get some prime lenses for your camera. Um, prime lenses are very, very good quality lenses, and they are going to get you your best results. Um, even the L series zoom lenses aren't going to be as good as prime lenses, so get yourself some of those. Um, Make sure that uh, they, you know, if you're going to buy them secondhand, make sure they come from a reasonable source that you um, that you respect and that you, that you know about, and they don't have any fungicide in them, and they're not cloudy looking, and they've been just generally looked after well. So, uh, if you're going to get a secondhand camera body, I would make sure that it um, that you can go and visit the person that uh, is selling it first, check it out yourself, take some photos on it. Um, make sure it works uh, both in its stills capacity and its video capacity. Um, you know, take a flash gun with you, put it in the hot shoe, make sure the hot shoe works. Um, I've had cameras in the past that have come from very reputable sources that, you know, the hot shoe hasn't worked right from out of the box. Um, so they've had to go back. Um, but, you know, if you buy it second hand, it's usually on, you know, you buy it sold as seen. So you don't have that option. So make sure you check it out. Um, whilst you've got it in your hand. Um, in terms of lenses, just check the lens mounts, you know, make sure that they're not uh, damaged or broken or look, look like they've been dropped. Um, and check the, uh, the filter um, thread as well, just to make sure that they've not been dented over because you'll not get a filter on the top of that otherwise. So um, yeah, invest in lenses, that would be first and foremost. If you can't afford DSLR, then have a look around. I'm not the best person to speak about um, compact cameras or point and shoot cameras because that's yeah I really don't know much about that um, part of the market but um, you know look around try and buy something with a decent lens on it a Zeiss lens something you know um, along that mark or a Sony lens that have got Leica lenses in them then they're usually very very good so all right and thanks very much for your question and uh, if you've got any comments Leave them below for me. Thanks very much.